How's it going, everybody? Hope everyone's doing good. Hope everyone's staying busy out there. Uh, I kind of want to make a video because I guess uh, seeing some new things that come out, especially with Klein, and uh, I guess this is, this is kind of the reality of, and even how to get the tool. Because I was at the Home Depot because I looked at I have the app on my phone, and uh, they said they had like 20 of these in their in their store, but. Uh, they haven't stocked them yet. They haven't ha have it out on display because I think they're going to have it out on display in a different way. But uh, I had to actually wait there 20 minutes while the guy actually find it. And he actually found a box full of them. I only wanted one. But uh, just to show you that, uh, that it is available, you've got to uh, ask for it and then probably be a little patient on it. But it's the new uh, Klein 701 Impact Flip Socket Set with Handle. Now, I first saw this and I thought this would look really cool and really neat. So I already have it open already. So obviously we got our handle and we got our driver with a lot of sockets. This goes up to quarter inch, five sixteenths. You got eleven thirty two, three eighths, and then seven sixteenths and half, which is pretty much most common, especially in my trade. Maybe other than the nine sixteenths, you got all the sockets you pretty much need right here. So. Basically, uh, see if I can do it. But uh, basically, it snaps in just like that. So far, it feels pretty good. This actually kind of reminds me, because uh, obviously you got to push. Uh, it stays on it pretty good, actually. This actually reminds me of the switch gear handle, which was this right here. This is from Switchgear, basically. Uh, this one's uh, non-existent. This one's a quick-release one. They don't make this anymore. Klein does not make it. You might find it on the website, or you can find it on the online, or you might be lucky and actually find it at a Walters Electrical Parts House. But other than that, like these are kind of really hard to come by. But I was lucky enough to pick one up. But they look pretty much the same. So this one's a little more smoother when uh, having the driver fall out. This is more stiff and. Yeah, it's not so bad actually. But actually, you pull this out. I think this is the uh, the first 701 nut driver, the big bulky one. Has all pretty much the sizes you need. But this is also impact rated. So I guess the idea is to basically, if you need, uh, instead of using the nice things, you need the other one that has to go basically under. And then over. <laughs> I dropped it. I gotta get a GoPro. And then, and there you go. I guess the idea is to flip this over. Do this with one hand. There you go. And there you go. And then you flip it as kind of like the Matco sort of thing, but I'm not. I might not keep it like this per se but so I might keep like say uh the most common one I use is obviously the quarter inch and five sixteenths and I keep these in a little pouch somewhere in my bag. So I don't want to kinda of keep it on the bottom looks makes it look too bulky in a way so but I don't know I'll see. I'm gonna keep this in my main service bag too. I'm gonna keep it in there. Because I don't initially have a bunch of nut drivers or anything. The only thing I keep in there is uh this one right here, this nut driver I keep this one only because there's some equipment we have that this one actually fits nice through it so I can remove the panels. That's the only thing I have there for and the only other nut driver is the 1132 for the motors. But, uh, I, and it, actually too, actually I got this for half price. This is like the uh, $30. But if you go to your Home Depot and they don't have it and they don't have it list the pricing, you could, I think the guys told me they got these for free at Home Depot because they weren't priced. And, uh, or you might get a, a huge discount. I got like half, I think the, the, the lady was nice enough to give me this for half off. So I got this for like 14, 14 or something like that. And they're like 30 bucks. All right. All right. This is just to uh, kind of show you because like lot client makes some pretty interesting drivers. I'll tell you that much. Obviously I have quite a good collection of them. More or less uh, common and some new stuff coming out. But I think the day we just show you some common ones like what client offers. Obviously, I think everybody 
has this right here where you pull this. Comes with a Phillips and a flathead, and they also have like um, uh, torque torque bits and uh, hex bits for these two. So you just slip it, and you guys have a Phillips, and I'm pretty sure I can, I can definitely see the same in a lot, a lot of real in the future. So this is quite handy right here. RZ the seven in one nut driver, the multi one where you can put any bit in here. Jeez, I think I bought this a while ago, and. I mean, I, I think I do use it from time to time. I think it's something I, I do need when I need a particular bit and I want to use a handle set of a drill or whatever. And then this nut driver right here where it uh, snaps to a 7 16th and then you got some quarter inch right there. So you got two nut drivers in one. But a lot of times you can't you can't get into contactors with these right here. But I'm pretty sure you've seen all these in my in my bag review videos. I'll have to keep 1132 nut driver and then this is the one where you could adjust the length I guess it works sort of the same but it doesn't necessarily snap in I guess or I think it does let me see if it does actually let's see if this one snaps in and it doesn't so we have to push down on it right there and then obviously it stores Ooh, man. stores the extra bits I just switch gear and same idea except this one snaps in and out but it's insulated which is something very cool what another one in there too love the heaviness of this but let me just actually show you the uh, little part number right there if you guys do need to pick this one up they do have them on the table you just got to probably ask for it I'm pretty sure most of them don't even have them on display so if you guys catch catch them I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.